Ladies and gentlemen, RFS long hauls has been changed forever. Let me tell you. When the update 1.2.5 hit, the update where they first added military jet into RFS and a sonic boom for Concorde and all other different sounds for the other aircraft and a lot of bug fixes, everyone got too distracted by it. And it was a smoke screen for one of the biggest nerfs to long haul. Here, in the release note, if you go all the way down, it says fuel burn changed to range. And what that means is that if, if I go to fly now, every max flight time estimated has been changed. If I go for the A380, which was first a 22 and a half hour of maximum flight time, now it's 16 and a half hours. That is a six hour reduction. And it gets even worse. If I go for the 787 Dreamliner, which had a 22 hour flight time, is now 15 and a half. So what that translates to is that there is no more extreme long haul. So for example, if you want to go from London Heathrow to Sydney, which you could do before this update, now you can't because this takes approximately 22 hours. So as a person who does a lot of long haul flying and I do this flight almost every week, at least like three, four times, that is a big impact. And you can see the 787 only in 16 flights, I have done 249 hours of flight time. While the 777 is only 300 for 30 flights. So, it's going to be very interesting. I did a flight yesterday as well with the um, A380 and I had to stop in the middle at Hong Kong just to complete my flight from London to Sydney. And hear me out, this is more realistic and I love it when that happens. It's just that now that I can't do any more extreme long hauls it's pretty weird but i guess there will be new planes getting added you know the 787 which can actually fly that distance so it shouldn't be as bad so i'm not upset overall but just that you can't do any other flights over 16 hours so yes this is a pretty weird video to make so a sub to the channel would be incredible and i'll see you again in the next one bye bye